All right, guys. Uh, they want us to find the y, the x. They want us to differentiate uh, this 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 uh, problem here, right? So um, already they 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 helped you, right? Um, I want you to picture this problem like this, yeah. It either it's either they're going to give you, it's either they're going to give you, um, is they're going to make it obvious. Um, in the question, meaning it's a it's a logarithmic uh, function, the, the whole thing. So it's either you're going to have the lean on the right-hand side here, just like you have here, or you don't have the lean at all, right? Now, if you have the lean like this, what you have to do is to apply the lean property directly before you differentiate, right? But if you don't have the lean here on the right-hand side, you would need to lean both sides before you before you start to differentiate, right? So I'm just gonna tackle it here. Remember, they want us to find the y, the x, right? So um, the very first thing I want to do here is to apply the lean property. Um, remember, I, I, I we spoke in uh, the, there's a video um that, that I made uh that, that deals with the logarithmic uh differentiation, right? Uh, in that case, we, we said if we have lean of A uh, multiplied by B divided by C times D, um, it will be lean of AB, right? Then we have lean of CD, right? Um, the, the minus is coming from the fact that, um, that this function is um, dividing this function. So eventually you have lean of A plus lean of B minus lean of c minus lean of d right so so this is the this is the property we want to use and uh, remember if you have if you have a, a power say n here right if you have n here uh, another property is saying no you can drop your n and um, you can start differentiating so this is what we want to do guys i'm just going to rewrite uh, this as uh, y is equal to the lean of the numerator, right, uh, which is 3x multiplying uh, the, the square root of the square root of x squared plus one, right? And the square root of x, x squared plus one is just uh, the half on the power here, right? So what I'm going to do is to close the bracket here. And uh, this minus is coming from this right here. So we're going to have minus the denominator lean e x squared multiplied by sine of 2x, right? So I, I want you to pause the video and uh, really understand what has just happened there. I've just, um, on this line, right, I've just re, I, I've, I rewrote the question, I restructured, uh, right? It's still the same question. I just rewrote the question using the lean property, right? Don't forget the lean is the lo natural logarithmic. Uh, if you have the variable there, the natural logarithmic function, right? So um, I'm going to apply the lean property again. So we're going to have y is equal to lean of 3x. Because there's a positive sign here, uh, because there's uh, because we're actually multiplying, we actually uh, just include the positive sign here, which is plus the lean of x squared plus one all to the half, right? So so you see now we have lean of three x this function plus where's the plus coming from? Because this is multiplying, right? So this is going to be minus, I'm going to open a big bracket here. Ne? And uh, say we have lean of e to the power of x squared. Uh, this is going to be plus lean uh, sine of 2x, right? So, so um, I'm going to rewrite this again and say we have lean of 3x. I can decide to drop the, the, the half here, right? Uh, when we obey the rule there, it's half lean uh, x squared plus one, right? Then um, we can have minus, this is lean 
of e to the power of x squared. Guys, I, we can actually drop this x squared and, and, and call this one, right? And um, lean of e, lean of e is actually one, right? Um, lean of e is one. You can check it on your calculator, right? Uh, then we're going to have minus lean sine of 2x. Guys, I have not differentiated yet. We have not differentiated, guys. Now we can start differentiating. What we have just done is to simplify, okay? So, so when we differentiate here, we want y prime, which is equal to the y dx, which is the first derivative. Now, guys, I want us to differentiate lean of 3x. Lean of 3x will want us to have one all over the whole function, right? Then we differentiate the function 3x, which is three, okay? Then we're going to have plus, uh, we can have half here. Lean wants us to have one all over the whole function. Then we can differentiate x squared plus one, which is two x minus, um, this is this is having a function of x. So using the power rule, this is 2x. Lean of e is just 1, right? Lean of e is just 1. You can decide to just write uh, 2x. You still fine, right? Then you have minus. Now, lean of sine of 2x. Uh, lean wants us to have 1 all over sine of 2x, right? Then we are going to differentiate sine of 2x. This is a chain rule, right? So remember with the chain, you have one layer outside, you have another layer, then you have another layer. So the first layer is one all over the whole thing. The second layer is sine of 2x, which is just going to give us uh, two cos of 2x, right? So we can actually say, um, therefore, our dy dx is equal to, we can simplify here, is one all over x. We simplify here is x all over x squared plus one. Then we have minus two x, right? Then we have minus two guys cos all over sine, cos of an angle or Cos of a function all over sine of a function is cot, cotangent of, of that function. And um, ladies and gentlemen, this is our dy dx, right? So I'll, I'll see you guys in the next... Guys, I hope um, these videos are helping. Um, you can always contact me, send me problems on, on that number. The more I see your engagement, the more I create content and I, I, I actually... Uh, try my best to help you guys. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now, guys. God bless.